Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be reviewing the Saboli Espresso Machine. This can be bought on Amazon, it is very affordable. I am not sponsored by them, but I want to show you how great it really is. I also want to note that I am not a barista of any kind, I'm just an average mom of two who loves espresso. And so I got this machine for that simple purpose. So I just want to show you all the parts here. Here is the little cup that holds the espresso and um, it does have a little measurement on it which is really nice so you can kind of see how much espresso you need. And then this little tray comes off which is great for cleaning up any messes. And here is the holder for the espresso, the little um, pitcher there and it also has uh, markings for how full you're going to fill it for the water and also when the espresso comes out. And as you can see, it all pretty much assembles very easily and all locks in. Pretty simple. And when you turn it, you hold, you kind of hold it to the left. This is something I kind of had to figure out. But once you get the hang of it, it's like nothing for you. And this is another thing that I'm still learning. Um, the steam settings at the top, I believe you can adjust them, but I just tighten it and I haven't really had any issues with that. And there is the nozzle that will show you how to turn it on and the steam and then turn it off. So here I am, I'm gonna be making the espresso and I'm filling up this little pitcher here with water. And then I'm going to use that to pour the water into the back of the espresso machine. I just feel like it's much easier this way than to try to do it from a big pitcher. And I also will know exactly how much water I need to match the espresso that I need. And just a little pointer, I have noticed that if I fill above that little dip that you see, the steam starts to go crazy. So I would suggest always make sure your water doesn't come over that little pressurized point there. So now I'm adding my espresso and you see I just pour my espresso in there and then it did come with this little scoop that also has um, a little thing on the bottom that you can press your espresso down with. I thought that was kind of cool that they included that. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. You want your espresso to be very packed. That's what's going to help hold that flavor. And now I'm just putting everything back together to get ready to brew. So you see here you have a brew, off, and steam. So you want to turn that nozzle to the brew setting. And it's going to take a few minutes to heat up. So this gives you time to get your cup and your milk all ready if you're going to be making a type of espresso drink. So once it starts to brew a little bit, I switch it over to the steam and I get it steaming just a little and then I switch it back to the brew, let it brew a little bit more and then once it's brewed all the espresso, I just go to town with the steamer. And of course you can do this, you know, as steamy as you like. Now I always make sure you turn it to the off setting when you're done because you don't want it to fill up and overflow. Now for my personal favorite part, you get to make your own little design instead of your uh, milk that's frothed. <laughs> you guys can try to guess what this is. I don't know what I was trying to make. I tried to make a leaf, I think, and then it just didn't work out, so I just kept playing with it, but this is all optional. It's kind of fun to see what kind of different designs you can make, though, with the espresso on top of the frothed milk. So now I just want to share the best part about this to me is the size. This is my little coffee wine bar here. And as you can see, it takes up such a minimal space. So that's one thing that I absolutely love about this. So when it comes to cleaning, again, Ciboli did not um, make this complicated. You simply take off the little frother and you can wash that right up and it doesn't take long and again all the other parts just simply come off and can be washed you can take this out and again like I showed you the top comes off of that so you can get in the inside this little tray comes off 
and it was kind of hard to do this while holding the camera but you get the idea you take off the espresso parts and you can wash those as well the only thing of course you can't wash is the actual ciboli machine and man guys here we go we get to enjoy you guys leave me a comment what you think this kind of looks like i'm sort of getting a turkey vibe but i don't know it'll let me know <laughs> thanks so much for watching and i hope to catch you guys at the next one